I think in many ways it was the fact that you felt you felt tapestry around him that, that was important to him. And certainly the first things he, he, he starts to design for himself when they, when they got rooms uh, following you know, coming coming um, down from Pet from Oxford and he's got he takes rooms with Burn Jones. The first thing he does is try to do a tapestry, as you know. He tries to he tries to embroider a tapestry, which is the if I can, which is here, of course. And it's an extraordinary thing to do. I mean, one has to think of Morris within the context of the nineteenth century. I mean, it wasn't quite so bizarre for men to do embroideries in the nineteenth century. Of course, in medieval times, men were the real profession embroiderers. So, and he loved this whole idea of recreating kind of medieval. Situation. So for him, it was never a woman's craft, you know, kind of pushing it off with all sorts of superior anyway. But even that clue, he had no clue whatsoever how to do it. So you get this strange, um, if you actually look at the, the, the technique of it, it's, it's obviously just stabbing some kind of <laughs> canvas ground with a needle. I mean, it must have been a bodkin because the, the wool's so thick. And there's no, uh, there's no kind of Right or reason to it, he starts to get a kind of <clears throat> texture going running through it at some point. But that just because it's easier. Um, Redline Mary, of course, the, the maid who was at Redline Square with them, she clearly, I think, was dragged into it all by Morris. And uh, he must have said, Well, how do I do so and so? How do, how, how do I do raised work? Because he would have been aware of raised embroidery through looking at Elizabethan. Um, Stump work. I mean, the thing is, right the way through this period, he's going to uh, visiting the Victorian Art Museum, South Kensington Museum, as it was there. So he's getting to know the collection, and he's he's kind of making uh, his mind up about what he likes and what he doesn't like. Um, and he, with this, he really just wants to recreate a thick um, tapestry of the type he's seen as a child. So so. This is the kind of extraordinary thing he comes out with, but it is so important. Uh, if you look at it, you can see you can see the, the kind of mental working out that he's been doing as he's been as we've been doing it. The walls and things um, we had little we had little samples tested when we did the, the Morris exhibition in '96, and they are the walls that he would have bought in the shop. So a lot of them are chemically dyed. And of course, he didn't like colours, the chemical dye stuff. So, so it's very much a learning process, but it's an important learning process.